Hey everyone, I hope you are doing well. So as we all know, a few months back this vibe coding term came out and it claimed that just by prompting AI mindlessly and not even, you know, looking at what you are doing without following any structure, you can build out the next Uber. So yeah, that was the claim, but uh, really soon people realized that that wasn't true. If you are prompting AI mindlessly, then it would give you an instant dopamine hit because it goes through like thousands of files, it builds out features for you and it fixes a lot of things for you. But at the end, you will uh, end up with a product that is not working at all and you will end up spending a lot of time in just fixing the errors, you know, that Cursor or Windsurf shipped. And that is why a new and much more practical concept has come up, which is vibe checking. So if you want to understand more about vibe checking, so let's look at the way things were done before. Okay. So let's say there is a junior developer and they just joined this new company. So on the first day, they are given a feature to implement, right? So let's say the junior developer implements that feature and it is working fine. So it is not like that they would be able to, you know, uh, publish their code onto the main code base, uh, which is the app of the company and just be happy. So that is why we had senior reviewers as well. You know, senior developers who used to go through the code changes that uh, uh, the junior developer made and they used to review it. And if there were any suggestions, so let's say they are using a lot of lines of code when it could be done with less lines of code, or if there is some security concern or stuff, then they would tell the junior developer, the junior developer would fix it. And once the senior developer is happy, only then their code would be merged with the uh, main code base. So this was really important because ensured that whatever is getting pushed to the production by production, what I mean is whatever code that is being, you know, showed to the world that is safe and secure and is scalable and follows the best practices. So this is how it was done before, but now we don't really need a senior developer. I mean, if you are working in a big company, then why not? But in our case where we are building MVPs, we needed AI in order to, you know, review everything that we were doing. And in the launch or MVP series, you would have seen that in the last video, we go through a launch checklist where we make everything performance optimized. We look for security and stuff while that is really helpful. But what we are going to do today using code rabbit is while you are uh, writing code using cursor, you are going to ask code rabbit to review it for you, just like a senior developer. And just at that point, only code rabbit is going to give you suggestions on security, scalability, performance optimizations, etc. And at the same time, you can, f you can fix it. So the later on, there is not a lot of things that you have to fix. So that is what I'm going to show you today. I mean, I never used it before. And since the past two weeks, I have been experimenting heavily with code rabbit, especially when they're you know, extension came out and I have been loving it so far. So yeah, that is the plan for today's video. So let me walk you through it. Also a little bit about uh, code rabbit. They started by focusing on code reviews inside GitHub. And if you want, you can use that part of code rabbit as well, you know, in order to review PRs and stuff. But right now I'm going to show you the way code rabbit you should use in order to, you know, make things much better for yourself. If you are building an MVP, uh, for yourself, for a your client and stuff. Okay. So let me open up the Brandom project. Where is it? Okay. So as you can see, here is a Brandom project. So as you can see, I am already running the project. So the first thing, the first requirement that you have in order to run code rabbit is, uh, you have to install it. So you can just click on here. It works inside codes or wins or VS code not, doesn't matter. Just click on this and you will be able to access extensions. And here you have to search for code rabbit, right? And once you do that, you will be able to see code rabbit, just install it. And after that, it will ask you to log in via GitHub. If you don't have GitHub so far, please set it up. It is going to help you a lot as a vibe coder. So just log in with that inside code rabbit and you will be good to go. So if you go here, you will be able to see your code rabbit here. So the first thing that is required in order to run reviews via code rabbit is you have to ensure that your GitHub is initialized inside a project. So for asking to initialize Git, right? Because it isn't really initialized. So what I'll do is I'll just run this git init command. So as you can see, it just initialized an empty git repository and now uh, code base is linked to GitHub. Basically that is what it did. So yeah, once that is done, you will be able to see this thing here, you know, the files to review and the branch. And so basically as you keep on making the changes, you will be able to see those files here for review and then you can review the changes. Let me walk you through how exactly can you do. 
uh okay so let's talk about the most important concept that every one of you should use so first is github so always commit you know to github at regular er- intervals so basically whenever you commit a feature whether it is half done or full done and if you are leaving your system do it you know once you are happy with it and something it will really help you revert back to your previous sessions and even if your code base gets deleted it is always safe inside github so that is the first thing the next thing is let me explain you the concepts of branches so right now whenever you initialize your git repository then your code base is on the main branch by main branch what we mean is the the main code base right so the best practice that you have to use is whenever you are adding in a new feature create another branch for it so let's say right now i am adding a feature so i'll create another branch a branch is like a copy of that main thing and then you can just you know make changes to that and once you are happy with it you can just merge it back with the main code base once you are happy with it so this is a really important practice. is that you have to do the main branch always remains away from you know all of the other changes and only the code that has been reviewed and only the code that is secure and scalable and performing well only that code from the different branch should be merged into the main branch so that is the goal and that is what you should also follow and that is where exactly code rabbit also helps you so let's say right now i am on the main branch like if i write git branch Uh, yeah so so sorry before you switch to another branch you have to ensure that you have committed all of your code on github so right now as you can see all of this is green right so it means that this code has went be hasn't been you know committed inside branch yet so let me show you the commands that you have to do you can ask uh, uh, cursor to do it for you but let me walk you through the commands as well you will also learn a bit about github by this video so why not So the first thing that you have to do is you have to do git add dot. By this, what we mean is we are adding everything, all of these files, uh, onto GitHub. Okay? By dot we mean everything. Then we are going to do git commit hyphen m and this. Then here you type in the message. So let's say first commit. So by commit. it means that we just pushed everything you know onto github and now it is you know inside the repository so you have committed to the changes now it is all the code rabbit is even asking me to you know chart the review but for now we won't do it i just want to show you that how can you exactly do the review when you keep on building feature on feature okay yeah so now let me show you how exactly can you create your next branch so in order to create your next branch what command you have to run is this one just click just write git checkout hyphen v and then name your test uh, your new branch so let's say i want to name this branch this new branch let's say test is fine right so we just switch to this new branch test and if i open up code rabbit you will be able to see that currently we are on the test branch and this is our main branch right so what it will do is whatever changes we make on the test branch it will compare that with the main branch and all of the changes it will review and once you are happy with the review you can push those changes on to the main branch so okay so let me open a brain dump where is it where is it okay so here is brain dump so as you know this is the application that we have been working for and i love using it for reference because we have been building it you know since the beginning so yeah let me go to dashboard and right now what i was thinking is so let's say i type in something right as you can see i typed this but if i refresh it then it just it does not get retained right so now what i want to do is that whenever i type in something that is retained across the session so even if the user refreshes the page it is stored inside it and the best way of doing that is using local storage but still let's say that we don't know the best way is if you are a beginner and let's ask cursor to do it for us so that whenever user types in something and they refreshes the page it is retained across the session so let me show you how exactly you can do that Hey so inside the dashboard right now whenever i'm writing something inside the input box it does not get retained throughout the refresh session so let's say whenever i refresh the page all of the text data gets deleted what would be the best way of implementing this so that the text data you know gets retained across the session and like i say always switch to ask more so that you have the understanding of what exactly cursor is going to do for you and let me click on and sonnet 4 works fine for now it is just a simple functionality so no worries there so as you can see it gave us the implementation but this time it gave us the code but i wanted the approach so i did not clarify it to it so let me clarify it once 
प्लीज गिव मी द एंटायर अप्रोच ऑफ डूइंग दिस डोंट गिव मी एनी कोड फॉर नाउ जस्ट दी अप्रोच दैट यू विल बी टेकिंग सी एज यू कैन सी इट इज रिकमेंडिंग लोकल स्टोरेज विथ स्मार्ट मैनेजमेंट ओके नाउ लेट मी आस्क इट टू इंप्लीमेंट इट please implement it and ensure that this works well end to end and just keep it simple for now as this is just an mvp and i click on enter so the reason for telling it that please keep it simple is it was suggesting some advanced workflows as well which i don't want to implement right now because those are not really required so let's just make it implement you know the exact feature that we want and this is also the reason that i always ask you guys to you know use the ask mode because it really tells you what cursor is going to do in the future and right now i knew that it is going to uh, implement some advanced workflows as well which i did not really wanted to so i just told it before it went ahead and implemented it and messed up everything so that is why i always uh, review the approach that codeser provides you and once you are happy with it only then ask it to proceed the code so let's wait for it to finish so as you can see it just implemented everything and uh, it is saying implementation complete so let me accept the changes and first let's test it for ourselves if it is working or not Here one and let me fresh it and as you can see it is even giving me this message saying that draft restored from a previous session so great it is now working okay so now let's say what would we would have done is we would have just proceeded with you know committing the code and then just chilling and just thinking that okay now we are good to proceed but now what i will do is i will click on review all changes so what code rabbit is going to do is it is good it is going to review them and if there are any security concerns or any other problems it is just going to tell us what exactly is the problem so let me click on review all changes and let's see what it does this was a pretty simple code change so not sure if there is going to be some issues but yeah why not let's see let's see what our senior developer says so i really recommend that you guys use this i remember that you know few days back we were working on this client project and a developer of mine you know he hard coded the api keys inside cursor only because he was just experimenting but later on he forgot to you know remove those and that is when code rabbit really helped i mean he was ready to commit but as i have you know made it a practice for all of them to use this whenever they are committing anything so he told me that how code rabbit really saved him from you know committing this code well that was not a big issue because even github uh, flags it whenever you push some you know initials directly but uh, yeah there could be many places where it could really go wrong for you you know whenever you are building some fintech platform or something so that is where it really really helps so as you can see it the review just got completed and it's it is saying something like this so draft key is computed once login logout switches will leak drafts across accounts Okay so as you can see this is the issue here if you want you can go through it but what i am going to show you now is you can just click on this button fix with ai and it is going to copy it for you and if you go inside your chat and if you paste it then you will be able to see that it is pinpointing the exact line and it is also explaining the exact you know reason to cursor so now what you can do is you can just paste it and you can just switch to agent and uh, then you can click on enter now what i always recommend is go ahead and understand what exactly was the issue because in the future you will get used to this error again right so you will know what exactly to do without even code rabbit telling you so in ideal world what i would have done is i would have switched to ask mode and i would have first asked cursor what exactly is the issue here i mean why was it flagged by my reviewer and then it would have explained it to me and then it would have fixed just for fixed it for us so as you can see it is fixing it and it is also fixing the linter errors as you can see even cursor is telling me that this is a critical security and ux issue the draft key is computed once on initial render and does not update when user changes which can cause draft data to leak between accounts right 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 so yeah i mean to be very honest if uh, code rabbit wasn't there i would have just pushed this code directly and later on it might have you know uh, raise some issues for the client so this is a great way you know of catching it i i never would have thought to you know go through the code myself and review it in today's world but yeah that is why i have been loving code rabbit so much so far and yep it just everything and once that is done you can just click on tick and change the plate successfully if you want you can run the review again and if there is an error again then it will let you know again and you can just uh, you know fix it again using the fix with ai button Also I really recommend that you hop on to the paid plan 
लेटर ऑन इफ योर यूजेज इज रियली लेस देन इट इज फाइन बट इफ यू पुश अ लॉट ऑफ चेंजेस देन इट इज हाईली रिकमेंड दैट यू हॉप ऑन टू द पेड प्लान एल्स वॉट इट विल स्टार्ट सींग इज राइट नो दिस माई पर्सनल मशीन एंड दैट इज आई एम नॉट ऑन द पेड प्लान बट एज यू कैन सी इट इज सींग रिव्यू कैंसिल्ड बिकॉज द रेट लिमिट वॉट इज हिट एंड नाउ विल आई हैव टू वेट फॉर लाइक फिफ्टी फाइव मिनट्स इन ऑर्डर टू कोड रैबर टू वर्क अगेन फॉर मी so yeah if you are working for a client or even if you are working for yourself this is highly recommended that you hop on to the paid plan so yeah i mean pretty much it this is what i wanted to show you in today's video other than this there is another step which you can do after that which we do at the agency so once this is done now is the time when i create the pr so pr is the way of asking the main reviewer the senior developer to you know tell you if your code is ready to be merged so right now whatever we did was internally code rabbit really helped me in making my code secure and better but now there is going to be another layer of review uh, which will be done once you push the pr uh, you raise the pr and that is also handled by code rabbit in a great great way so don't want to really cover that right now because i want to keep this video short and uh, it is not going to really help you right now but later on when you guys start your own agency or if you build your product for your client and that too when you are on your 10th or 15th product only then i'll really recommend that you get into prs because that might uh, you know uh, slow the process down a bit and it does i mean it does slow the process down but yeah, i just wanted to let you know that there is more functionalities of code rabbit that you could explore and this is also the place where code rabbit shines again because as code rabbit is connected to your github account it will do a really great job you know in helping you review the pr and uh, letting you know if there are any issues so it acts like another layer of security on top of this in editor uh, review and that is the complete vibe checking workflow so as you guys saw uh, this is really really helpful and uh, people really started hating vibe coding because they thought that you are just building broken products which are not secure which are not scalable but uh, now code rabbit really helps you uh, you know in ensuring that whatever you are doing that is correct and it acts like a senior developer overviewing everything that you are doing so i highly highly recommend it i only share those things that i really think would be helpful to you guys so please explore this tool if you have any questions feel free to let me know and uh, yeah see you next time